Now, I have been telling Kyle, because our daughters go to the same school, and I've been telling Kyle about your lovely husband being all over volunteering to help out at the school. Now, he's there in the mornings doing car line, helping things move along. He's always helping out with any event that is happening at our school and he's such a great dad we thought let's use this premise like Pete's always up for anything so yeah. Kyle called him yesterday pretending he was Kevin Pitchard mm. uh, one of the coordinators at the school oh uh, yeah like a uh, I can't even remember what coordinator said can't I can't remember came yeah. up with some stupid title I told him I had adult braces and I sounded really difficult to understand so um, oh, no. he was a sweetheart though he wanted to to try and see if Peter was up for being one of the parents to volunteer in a sex education class. <gasps> no, yes, you yes. didn't, <laughs> Kyle. I've got butterflies. <laughs> yes. no. Now you know Pete. He's um he's very like he's the one we trust. When we watch the news, you need a trustworthy face. Which That's is, why he's done so well. Which is why he was the number one parent. Yes, and voted he has for. a good yeah. heart. He has a good and heart. And he will listen to people. He yeah. will actually listen and listen, not want to be rude. So I'm That's feeling right. terribly <laughs> nervous about what he you've done to my husband. He held, he held his uh, head up high. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't think you need to be embarrassed by anything, no, but no. I, I, I've only heard it very briefly. So let's have a listen to when Kevin now. called Peter yesterday. And then we'll get uh, your husband on the phone. <laughs> Here's me calling your husband. Roll the tape, everyone. Hello. Hello, is that Mr. Overson? Yes, Peter. Yes, Peter, oh, hello. Sorry, Peter. It's Kevin Pritchard. I'm the volunteer coordinator at school. Oh, hello. Yes, Mr. Pritchard. Hello, hello. you. Pe- I'm a big fan of that, Peter. Sorry. And I've got some adult braces, so it might be hard to understand everything I'm saying. What? What? Have you, I'm sorry, I missed all of that. I've got adult braces, oh. so, so it might be really hard to understand what I'm saying. Okay, no, that's all. I'll I'll, uh, I'll listen intently, Mr. Pritchard. What can I do for you? Thank you, Peter. Um, I'm calling on behalf of Pinkie Woman and who requested maybe uh, you for this particular role. I know you do a lot of volunteering at school already, but what we're yeah. trying to put together is trusted people, parents, uh, with a with a uh, obviously a teaching professional to, uh, to talk about sex education to the young students. Would that be something you're interested in at all? Uh, well, you've caught, caught me off off guard a bit, uh, Mr. Pritchard. Uh, just to clarify, you you want parents to come in and and help in the sex education yes, program? Yes, that's it's, right. Yes, it was just oh. in, like a trusted parent, and like mm. who's more trusted than you? Like me, hey, I've been watching you on Channel Nine for years. I can't think Thank of a you. better person. Everyone in the common room was like, okay. Which out of all the parents would be the most trusted? And everyone was like, oh, Peter Overton for sure. So that's why we're calling you. So I'll give you an explanation of some of the things. You may not be comfortable with it, but you just tell me what you think. So, for example, you would be required to explain um, menstruation to young people. Like, what causes a period? Okay, go. Uh, uh, Mr. Pritchard, can I be frank with you? um, And I really appreciate your call and, and... And you're considering me um, for this program, but I, I do perhaps have a, I'm a better fit with the school car line marshalling with my high vis vest, and I, I, I'm good in the canteen. I think it might be better if you maybe approach a, a, a mother who might be even be a, a GP. Um, yes, well, that has I, that has come up. That has come up, but yeah. they wanted me to give you a call anyway, just to roll through. You may be very uncomfortable talking about periods. I don't know. It's like, for yeah, example, well, another one would be like. How long does the period last? Okay, go. Well, I well, I have two daughters and, and um, about a week, I think. Okay, here's another one. What is the difference between a tampon and a sanitary pad? Okay, go. <laughs> Mr. Pritchard, um, <laughs> I... Uh, I don't know. I'll give you an example. Like, I'll tell you. Like, I know I'm not so hard. Pads are made of cotton, right? Yeah. And the other ones have the sticky things for the undies. Here's the last right. one. How would you explain 
A wet dream. Okay, go. Not easy, Mr. right? Pritchard, Mr. Not Pritchard, easy. I, 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 I can't believe we're having this conversation. Me neither. I never saw ever that I would be I, asking Peter Overton about wet dreams. Like, it's almost a wet dream just thinking about it. <laughs> uh, 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 Mr. Pritchard, I, right, who is this? G'day, g'day, Pete. It's Kyle and Jackie O. And oh, Kevin yes, Pichard. Scam, scam. Oh, oh, thank oh, you, Peter. Oh, thank you. Oh, Mr. Pichard, I could feel the spittle. I could feel your spittle. <laughs> <laughs> it was a pleasure talking to you, Peter. <laughs> he handled it quite well, I oh, think. Oh, what a sweetie. We've got him on the phone. Hi, Peter. Jackie and Mr. Pritchard and Jessica. Hello, Peter. <laughs> Hello, my <Yes>. darling. <laughs> but you did that oh. so well, my darling. I, oh, I don't know I how. Make, I, I just thought it was one of my friends as as we when he did the question and answers, Kyle. Yeah. When he did that, I thought, my goodness, some mates having a bit of fun with me. <laughs> but I just well, I didn't know. Maybe I trust too many people in this world. No, because people trust you, so you mirror image that back on people, and a lot of people are very deceitful. <laughs> As your punishment, I want you to come and do Carline, Kyle. Oh, imagine Kyle and Carline. It would be a disaster. When I do Carlines, it's a whole different thing. Oh, no. <laughs> you look good in a high-vis vest. I don't think I would. Pink one I, I don't know if I'd look that good. In the... Hey, Peter, thank you. Hey, you've got a gorgeous wife here. And you know what? So thrilled that you're able to actually eat now without the fear of dying of poisoning. <laughs> Oh no, she is. She, I, I've absolutely topped the class with Jessica. She's just the best. No, oh, my darling, because oh. you do enjoy my cooking much more, don't you? The sausos, yeah, the well, spaghetti oh, well, bolognese. No, not really. Um, we had heated <laughs> party pies for dinner last night. Peter's so. party pies. <laughs> Oh. No, we did. We, did. we heated up some party pies. Oh, well, that's nice. I bet <laughs> you did you put anything with when it? When he comes home, tomato sauce. <laughs> tomato sauce on the side. Very and nice. And when, you, when you serve these things up, Peter, are you like, this is lovely, darling, or are you honest? What happens? I, think, I did say they were good last night. <laughs> Usually I end up having to microwave them, but she put them in the oven. So they were <laughs> Wow, she's really kicked it up a notch. I have. Here's your party pies. It's cold. You all microwave yeah. them yourself. Yeah. Oh, what an enjoyable couple. I love couple. that. The guy gives us the news every night. We're sitting there. We're glued to the TV. He drives home after an exhausting day of sharing all the world's news with everyone. And it's a really, it's a, like a lucky dip when you get to the dinner table, right? Well, it I is. I wouldn't say it's a lucky dip. <laughs> Oh, Petey. <laughs> hey, you know anyway. what? Love is love. It is. And yeah. I'm so lucky to be married to the best man in the world. Aww. You guys are very sweet, Pete. Thanks for being a good sport. And Appreciate Jessica, it. Hey, if you want to cook like, well, maybe not like that. Maybe, <laughs> maybe you want to improve your uh, cooking skills, male, female, doesn't matter. Kids can do it too. Uh, jump on that website, australianbeef.com.au. They've got all the tips. And ask your butcher. Go and ask them. They, they love it. How Chat shall I cook this? Yeah, yes. And exactly. they have all the info. They have, even though we had party pa- pies last <laughs> night. Hey, look, you're, you're allowed a cheat night. Oh, thank Five you, nights a week, cheat <laughs> night at the Rose pies. House. I love yeah, it. They've improved my cooking. <laughs> thank you, Jessica. Thanks, Jess. Nice thank to you. see you. Jessica Rowe on the air this morning. Kiss. The Kyle and Jackie O Show.